Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the second grade concept of personal financial literacy, specifically how we can spend and save money using withdrawals and deposits, and we will do it in five minutes or less. So these are two words that we're going to look at today, deposit and a withdrawal. And those have to do with actions that uh, your parents and other adults take when they use a bank. So, you know, a bank is a financial institution that uh, holds your money for you. Sometimes you put your uh, check, your paycheck straight into the bank. You can get money out of the ATM. They do other things as well, like sometimes they'll loan you money for a car, for a home. But the two big actions that you can take at a bank is you can either deposit money or you can withdraw money. It's called a withdrawal. So deposit money, that's when you save money. We know about saving money. So when you get money from an allowance, from a birthday, maybe you mow someone's lawn, you save, you have some Christmas money. If you don't spend it immediately, that means you are wanting to save it. You're wanting to save it for maybe a larger purchase later, or you don't know what you want to buy, so you just want to just save it so you're not wasting it. So when adults are wanting to save their money, what they do is they put that money into the bank. And that bank, that money, once it goes into the bank, it's called a deposit because they're putting it in, or that's, that term deposit means to place something into something. They're putting that money into the bank to keep it safe. If they wanted to, they could keep that money in their wallet, but pretty soon adults have quite a bit of money and they don't want to have all that money lying around. So they will deposit that money or they will save that money in an account that they have and they might be able to use it later when they want to spend. So here's the other large thing uh, that banks are used for is we use it to spend money. Since the bank is holding our money, sometimes we might want to use some of that money. And we might want to spend it on groceries. We might have to buy gasoline. We might want to buy movie tickets. Whatever we want to spend our money on, we have to make a withdrawal. So a withdrawal means you're pulling money out of your account that you've already put in there ahead of time. And you are wanting to spend it on something. Now, there are various ways that adults can spend their money by withdrawing from their bank account. Uh, sometimes they can just get cash out. They can just get actual money, and typically that's going to come from the ATM. That's an automated teller machine. Usually you can just drive through, punch in your code, put in your card, and you get money out. The thing with the ATM is that it will not give you money unless you actually have money into your account that you've already placed there from a deposit. So it's not free money. It's not magic money. It's money that you've deposited into that account, most likely through a paycheck. And so you can get cash out if you want uh, from an ATM and you can pay cash. Another way that you can spend money is you can write a check. So this is something that uh, not a lot of people use today as much as they did 20 years ago. But a check is just a piece of paper that's from the bank and has a place for you to sign. And it has all of your bank information at the very bottom. So if you wanted to go buy something for $100 and you didn't have the cash, if you have a checking account, and that's the, the, the major account that most adults have, you can write this check and the store will take it. They don't have to take any money from you. They just take this check and this check says, I've got $100 in my bank account and you can turn this check in and get that money. And so it comes from the account. And so it's a piece of paper. Uh, that you can use and it takes a few days and then the store wherever you wrote the check they'll get that money from your account probably the one that you see most is what we call a debit card a debit card is acts just like a credit card except the money has to be in your account so uh, this is sometimes we'll call it plastic paper or plastic because plastic means this debit card is plastic it's not real money as well but this debit card is linked to your checking account. But all of these three ways to spend money, cash, check, or debit card, you use it like a credit card, you just swipe it, punch in your pin, takes the money straight from your checking account. They are all withdrawals.